This is about the um, trying to green up the desert. And now that they know how to fix the sand by adding additives, which includes clay and lime, uh, that can be done and it can become very productive. You still need water and you're going to need some source of power out there. Now, the water may be able to be used by salt water if it was remediated and you could remediate it with, you're going to need power to do that. Now, these Fresnel lenses uh, create a tremendous amount of power as you will see right now. This is F Fence Kid and it's uh, different Fresnel lenses, uh, different capabilities. A round one compact round one can, can create uh, unbelievable watch what happens he's going to put that as soon as it hits the focal point watch this bam now so if you can create the focal point everywhere on a drum you could get tremendous amounts of heat and i'm going to show you what i propose all right, for this furnace, what we would do is have a buckyball cut in half just like that. You'd have a Fresnel in every one of these, and that would go over the top of a water tank to heat the water tank from wherever the sun might be. It would be getting at least the most you could get out of the sun to heat that water tank. The water tank would work to drive a uh, little steam engine. All right, so we've got the buckyball to cover up our our little solar heater let's say that was a solar I mean a, uh, a water tank and we put a cover right over the top I'm just showing as one the way each one would work but a cover over the top so that everywhere the Sun hit it would heat that tank which would drive this little compressor that uh, I mean this little motor which would drive a little tiny motor here okay so this would be a steam engine it would drive a little electric motor which would wedge up a huge enormous weight and you could have as many of these as you want you could have 10 15 20 of them they wouldn't matter and all they have to do is be filled with rocks and made out of crude materials and and just make a big long lever out of here so that you're doing a whole lot of work so whatever you lift up when it comes back down it feeds back the motor and turns it into a generator this is so you could use it at night you could use it whenever whatever so you've got this heating. You could also feed it with wind power. You're in the desert. You probably got a lot of wind. You got a lot of sunlight, I imagine. And uh, and and all you got to do is lift these weights up. That's your battery. So the weight moves up to charge and down to use. I'm just trying to come up with solutions for people that have very little. And this is is, you know, there's some input here, but not much. You take somebody that knows what they're doing. They could. You know, cheap, you can use old alternators and things, really. I mean, people are pretty tricky when they, they get tricky. But if they're not tricky, they're just, you know, they're doing a lot of extra work for nothing. <laughs> so that's, that's my feeling. Anyway, you feed it with whatever you can feed it with. Let's put it that way. You could even have it put fire underneath there, too, to burn, you know, or oil or whatever you needed to use. But... Once you store this, you can dry, You can take electricity as much as you want on it. And there's no limit to how many of those you could have. So anyway, that's my feeling. Might work, might work. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs>